I now call on Dr. Keshav Kranthi, Chief Scientist of the ICAC, for his presentation on sustainability snippets from the ICAC Cotton Data Book. Thank you, Chair, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. The ICAC Cotton Data Book was published in June this year. The Data Book is a comprehensive compilation of data on cotton production, processing, and trade. In this short presentation, I'll briefly describe a few snippets related to sustainability from the Cotton Data Book. The ICAC Cotton Data Book has 564 pages of numbers and graphs. It covers production practices and trade of 38 countries with data on individual states of each of these countries. The book has details on economics of cotton cultivation and production. It describes components of production practices on seed processing, planting, nutrient management, weed management, water management, insect pest management, disease management, harvesting methods, ginning, etc. The data book also describes cropping systems, fertilizer usage, pesticide usage, water uh, footprints, and much more. In this presentation, I'll be focusing on Africa plus 11 major countries, which together account for 95% of the global cotton production. As you will soon see, there's an enormous diversity in production practices across the world. This presentation deals with three pillars of sustainability, social, economic, and environmental. In the next three slides, I'll present some aspects on social sustainability. The bars that you see here represent the number of cotton growers. More than 22 million farmers cultivated cotton in 2020. And interestingly, India, China, Africa, and Pakistan host 95% of the global cotton farmers. Cotton farming provides sole income and supports livelihood, especially for the 22 million smallholders in Asia and Africa. India, China, Africa, and Pakistan also provide farm employment of 2.4 billion mandates every year. Thus, cotton farming not only means livelihood, but also enormous employment generation for millions of persons across the world. Not surprisingly, countries in Asia and Africa spend a major share of their cost of cultivation on labor deployment, which adds greatly to rural livelihood. In the next five slides, we will explore five aspects of environmental sustainability, such as irrigation water, fertilizers, pesticides, land use efficiency, and soil health. First, let us take a look at irrigation water. Irrigation water is a critical input in agriculture. Cotton in Africa and Brazil is rain-fed. 85% of cotton area in Argentina is rain-fed, and 65% of the area in India and United States also is rain-fed. Therefore, it is not surprising that these nations have the best water footprint. At this juncture, it's important to mention that a greater water footprint in some countries such as Pakistan and Uzbekistan is mainly because of the low seasonal rainfall in the cotton growing regions where cotton cannot be grown economically without irrigation. We'll now take a look at the fertilizer use efficiency, which means the quantity of lint produced per kilogram of fertilizer used. As you can see here, Argentina and Africa produced more than 39 kilograms of lint per kilogram of fertilizer used and thus have highest fertilizer use efficiency. Data also indicates that there's an imminent need for Asian countries such as India, Pakistan and Uzbekistan to focus on precision farming to increase fertilizer use efficiency. Now we'll take a look at expenditure on pesticides. Expenditure on pesticides is less in Africa, Argentina, India, and Uzbekistan 
compared to countries such as Brazil, Greece and China. Now this could be because of less use of pesticides such as growth regulators, defoliants and herbicides in these advanced countries. Now we'll take a look at land use efficiency. Land use efficiency is less in countries which harvest low yields. Interestingly, there appears to be a direct correlation of yields with, po uh, with plant population density. The average plant population density is 111,000 plants per hectare in all high yielding countries that harvest more than global average of 780 kilograms of lint per hectare. Conversely, the plant population density is lowest in Africa and India, which harvest lowest yields in the world and therefore have low land use efficiency. Environmental sustainability hinges a lot on soil health. Recent research has shown that conservation tillage practices have the potential to rejuvenate soil health. Data shows that Argentina, Australia, Brazil, China and the United States are leading the way on zero tillage. And finally, in the next three slides, we will examine a few snippets on economic sustainability that deal with the cost of cultivation, net returns and cost of producing one kilogram of seed cotton. The cost of cultivation is highest in Australia and China and lowest in Africa and Argentina. In fact, the cost of cultivation in Argentina and Africa is about one third of the global average cost of cultivation. Brazil, Turkey and Australia get the best net returns. Africa, Greece and India have low net returns. This is something that these countries must start looking at. The cost of producing one kilogram of seed cotton is lowest in Argentina. Thus, Argentina is the most efficient in cost of producing seed cotton. The cost of production is highest in Australia and China. To summarize, we dealt with the three main pillars of sustainability. On social sustainability, Africa, China, India and Pakistan provide livelihood to 22 million farmers. And these countries also provide employment of 2.5 billion man days. Economic sustainability, Argentina is most efficient in cost of production. Africa and Argentina have the lowest cost of cultivation. Australia, Brazil and Turkey have the highest net returns. On environmental sustainability, on those five different aspects, Africa and Argentina excel in fertilizer use efficiency. Africa, Argentina and Brazil excel in their water footprint. Africa, Argentina, India, Pakistan and Uzbekistan spend least on pesticides. Argentina, Australia, Brazil, China and USA are leading the way on zero tillage and on conservation tillage practices. Argentina, Australia, Brazil, China, Greece, Mexico, Turkey, United States and Uzbekistan have the highest land use efficiency. That finishes my presentation. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.